Hey, 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 Michelle here. Today is October 13th, a Thursday, so I, I just want to make sure I put dates in, in my call, in my, in my videos. I, I keep forgetting about it. But anyway, I want to talk about something real quick, if I can. And uh, I call it the erosion of the black woman. And what I mean by that, um, for decades, of course, um, everybody has been so concerned about the ex existence of black women, okay? Whether it's what they're wearing, their hairstyle, why they like certain type of people, you know, like certain type of men or women, uh, how they treat their kids. Uh, and uh, I just want it to be known. And we, we know this as a group. I know we, you know, black women know this, black women, lesbians, especially, I mean, Black women love their motherfucking kids. Okay, black women love their motherfucking kids. That's just, you know, uh, but but over 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 time, you know, uh, there's there it's a it's a slow erosion of the black woman. And if, if anybody understands erosion, sometimes you don't know that there's something happening under under the surface until you. Are usually too late, you know, because erosion can take time. You know, it's something slow, and it's always it's always a damage to the infrastructure. Okay, so it's a damage to the infrastructure of infrastructure of a black woman, right? So, um, so this has been going on for for decades at least. That there's always been a problem about what black women are doing, you know. And what they what black women are doing to this society, and that black women don't care about their kids or their neighborhoods and such bullshit and lies, you know. But anyway, let's stay on. Let's just let me just stay there. Um, so there's always people looking in to the culture. Anyway, you know, I call them outsiders. I call them crusaders. I do. And I'll explain that one day, you know, but it should, I mean, I think, I think, that, you know, it'll eventually make sense, you know, it'll eventually make sense, but sometimes, you know, yeah. so anyway, so non-black people have always been interested about what black women are doing and why they like certain men and women, as I've already said, okay, and criticizing how they're doing this and how they're doing that and what they're wearing, what they're saying, there's always Non-black people looking in, like I said, crusaders, and, and so forth and so on. Uh, but if you live, if you pay attention to what I mean by the erosion, okay, uh, it all, it all, it's a, it's, it's the objects, you know, the black woman. That's always the, um, always the attention, you know, the attention, and uh, so it, it becomes their lips. You understand me? becomes their ass, becomes their hairstyle, becomes their walk, their men. You, you understand me? And so a lot of that stuff gets, I mean, it's stolen all the time. You know, when, when crusaders or whoever they are, they're non-black, of course. But, you know, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. But they always are looking in because you're always being watched. You always are being watched, and you know that. Whether people find you disgusting or not, you are watched. And that's why you guys just be careful, you know, always be careful of your conversations around people, you know, and just, just be mindful of what you, uh, you know, like say, for example, you, 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 you believe a black woman is having an attitude today in your office. You know, if you feel safe, uh, go over there and talk to her if you can. If you feel safe, do so. Go over there and see if you can figure out what her expressions are. She's probably a... a a filler, and she's probably feeling emotional about something going on at home. Who knows? Because um, I have a relative. Every time, she, every time she would think she has everything under control, she would get a knock at the door, and somebody's criticizing her about how she's disciplining her kids. And so that that means that her employer will find out about it. Okay, so that means she may lose that job because she has to take care of this, you know, or the school's calling because she got to take care of that. 
Okay, so that means she'll possibly lose a job, lose housing, and blah, blah, blah. So there's always a backstory to, I think, when people are acting, you know, with an attitude. I really do. And I, and I don't think people realize the implications of it <clears throat> and what it, how it eroded things, how, it, how the erosion, uh, how the erosion began because um, it was intentional. It was an intentional erosion, in my opinion, but, you know. So, um, so just be careful if you, you know, and uh, know that the erosion of the black woman has been going on for decades, and uh, it was right under our nose, under our feet, and, um, and because we got caught up in our own busy lifestyles and, and our demanding lives, you know, we, we didn't catch it, okay? So I'm going to rely on black lesbians and their descendants to resolve this if it's not too late. Um, because yes, because think about it, who's going up in these, who's going into these schools shooting up kids? Who's running into these malls killing people, grocery stores? Who's doing that? Is it these terrible black children that black women don't care nothing about? I mean, you see, the, you see the, the men, how they manipulate everything, you know, because you got crusaders looking in. They don't understand the culture. They don't. So they're making all these assumptions. And if they hear, you know, if they hear in our circles that we're saying that, you know, saying certain derogatory things about each other, I mean, you know, hey, it, I mean, it is a cultural thing when we start going snapping, 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 and then saying things about each other. Um, and then you have crusaders looking in, you know, like, and they see opportunity. That's all they see, opportunity and power. Opportunity and power. And, you know, and with power, it means money, you know. So it's a slow erosion. It's been going on for decades of the black woman. And, um, you know, it, it, it creates business opportunities that black women never never benefit from. So again, I'm going to leave it to black lesbians to, and their descendants, you know, whether they're boys or girls, to, you know, be, be, be aware of it and do everything in your power to stop the erosion, you know. I mean, eventually, you know, I don't know. You know, you know with erosion, eventually it can get washed away and then it'll appear that it never existed at all that nothing was ever there. No structure was ever there, you know? So uh, I just wanted to share that. And, uh, you know, um, you know, just understand and keep that in mind. And, you know, just do, every, do whatever you can to, you know, expose the erosion and, um, you know, and see if you can assist anywhere you can, okay? Peace and love. Everybody have a great day. This is Michelle, if I didn't say. Um, and, um, you know, just keep it in mind.